What's going on, guys? It's Bertie. Today we're going to be talking about this weekend. We're going to be playing. We're going to be having some double XP weapon, double X, yeah, double weapon XP, double multiplayer XP, and double XP with zombies. Now we all know I'm not a huge zombie player anymore, but I am a huge multiplayer and weapon XP um, player. So I was going to give you guys some tips on how to actually get the most out of this. Um, there's going to be different, you guys usually, if you're this far, far into the game, if you've been playing it since it came out, you're probably going to have all the good guns maxed out, or probably have them all maxed out. And if you just got the game like a few months ago, like I did, you're going to have the majority of your favorite guns maxed out. And the other ones that you really don't like to use, they're not going to be there already. So what I'm actually going to suggest is, first off, knock out the bad ones. Say you have um, the Argus and the KRM. If you really like the K KRM and you're almost ready to be finished with it, um, just go ahead and use the Argus. I would honestly suggest doing that. Just because if you don't like it, it's going to be easier to rank it up and get it to max level, and that's going to benefit you in the long run. It's just going to, I mean, it's just going to be the best. And that's what I would strongly suggest. That's what I'm going to be doing. Using a bunch of the guns that I don't like, so I can get those knocked out and ranked up. And the, once you get more attachments on them, the dreadful, terrible, like, um, by the um, terrible use, I guess, that's not going to matter anymore because you're going to have some good attachments. The guns aren't going to seem that bad, and it's going to be done and over with. You won't have to worry about it again. Now, let's move on to how you're going to be wanting to rank up a lot. Now that you guys do know, Nuketown 24-7 is not there anymore, but there is a Chaos Mosh Pit like I'm playing right now. I... I got so I, I I got wrecked in this game at the beginning at the beginning I did bad because there was shotgun like this guy shotguns that earlier there were shotgun guys everywhere and they started spawn camping I did bad but I just wanted to get the gameplay out there really quick because it takes a while for me to edit and upload so I was just gonna try to get it done as fast as I can. But you're going to be wanting to jump into chaos mosh pit to be honest simply because it's smaller maps and um. There are more, I think, various fast-paced game modes. So you're going to be playing like Nuketown, Combine, Skyject. If you have the DLC, you'll be playing Skyject. Um, I'm not sure if it's only limited to the DLC um, holders or anything to the... Maybe so, it might be. I'm not sure. Because it's not too... I got wrecked right there. Smart play by that guy, by the way. But you're going to be wanting to jump into this. If you don't have that, um, I would suggest just going into game modes like Hardpoint Domination. So you can rank up really fast. Because they are fast-paced and vote for smaller maps. Or maybe ground war where you can get more kills and use um like shotguns or sniper rifles or any like a sheet. Just something you maybe get one shot kills with so you get you more XP. Aim for the head to get headshots, play capture the flag, hold the flag and kill people. That's gonna get you a lot of XP and grind it out. I'm telling you guys, you guys might get bored with this, but stick to game modes like domination, hard point, um, even safeguard sometimes. If you're playing objectively and safeguard and popping off a lot of kills, you're gonna be getting a lot of XP. I would strongly suggest stick with Domination. Even Hardcore actually works. If you play Hardcore Domination or Hardcore Free For All, if you're a Free For All like Magician, I guess you would say, and you always win, you get like, you drop the 30 kills and win every Free For All, go in there using um, like a VMP or a CUDA or an SMG you really like and just start dominating people in Hardcore Free For All. It's, all, it's mainly going to be one shot kills if you get that and that's a lot of XP. Aim for the head so you can get a bunch. I just tried taking this thing out. Um, at least damaging it a little bit. I EMP'd it a minute ago. Um, I was just trying to get points no matter what. So I would suggest doing that, guys. Actually, just go and try to take out the... Um, not take out. Just go to like fast-paced, fast-tempoed games. And um, if you don't have the mosh pit, do that. And when you're in mosh pit, vote for the fast domination and hard point if they're not already there for your use. Um, and then if you guys want to play zombies, I would suggest just using um, the giant. Play the giant play a map that you can actually train in if you have the giant you can and just train 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 and kill and last you're just gonna get so much XP for that and aim for the head I think you may get I don't know if you get XP for the headshots or not for zombies but if you want to just I would suggest training anyways guys I'm gonna tell you a little bit really fast story I have been gone I've been taking care of some family stuff haven't uploaded in four days I do apologize for that I'm I actually got some GTA gameplay coming up in the future and the future is right around the corner as a well the in 10 seconds. Hey, look, it's already the future. Um, I, I make such cheesy jokes. But anyways, uh, I do got some gameplay with GTA coming up soon. And um, that's all I have for you guys today in the video. Hope you guys enjoy your double XP weekend. And you guys can go follow me in the on Twitter in the description and find other forms of social media in the thing. It's been good, guys. I'm out. Enemy uplink achieved. We lost that engagement. Regroup and go again.